welcome back to my channel it's Marissa Ray here and I'm back with another video for y'all if you're new welcome thanks for tuning in today I appreciate it I hope you're ready for what I'm about to do to my hair on today's agenda I'm gonna be doing a cute little braided ponytail I think at least I'm gonna try you know I've done one of these before but difference is i wanted to like make it neater i guess and better so i'm just gonna attempt to do this today my hair is in plaits right now so my hair is um all i did was condition my hair i just had it in a little wash and go um make sure to check out my link below in the description for you know my previous videos or whatever but i did do a little wash and go like last week so my hair wasn't really dirty dirty so all i did was condition it and um i did that detangled it and what i have in there now is this leave-in conditioner mayel the pomegranate and honey i have that in my hair now along with some jamaican black castor oil it's in the do grow bottle but it is Jamaican black castor oil that I put in here because of the, you know, because of the lid or whatever. That's what I've done to my hair now. And it's still a little bit damp. But, um, yeah. I'm gonna need it to be wet because, you know, my hair is really curly and it's kind of thick. So, when I put it all up in one ponytail, it's difficult sometimes, especially to braid it. So, let's get into the products we're gonna need. I'm using this Jumbo Braid Outre. 100% canker line hair. I have like four bags, but this is like literally old hair that I had a long, long time ago. Oh, and it's the color 27. It's the color 27. I'm using that. Had that hair for a long time. Just stored in the closet somewhere. I'm going to use some of my Eco Styler Gel. This is the coconut oil one. I also have some of this Schwarzkopf. I don't know how to say this, but Smooth and Shine. Um, black seed and coconut oil setting mousse. Um, I have water. Of course, I have like brushes, a hard br bristle brush, a wide tooth comb, and this kind of brush. Ponytail holders, of course. Um, bobby pins. I doubt I'm gonna need them, but I might. Um, my toothbrush, of course, to lay my little edges. And that's it. Some little clippies. So let's just get straight into this video um hopefully this goes smoothly because like i say y'all my hair is pretty thick but it looks super healthy and juicy don't it Ooh. i wanted to mention to y'all that i do have just some plain old black rubber bands okay so let's get into the video i'm going to take these braids down the first step of this obviously is to form the ponytail which is the hardest part <laughs> The braiding is easy, okay? It's getting this ponytail right is what's hard. But this is making me kind of think I'm going to do a braid out one day. Because my hair be looking so cute. See? It just looks really cute. Quick disclaimer, all of that. Please make sure you guys are staying safe out here, taking care of yourselves, washing your hands, protecting yourself, your face, your skin other people around you be very very conscious of that you know Easter is right around the corner like two days from now and you know Jesus still rose from the dead so all this stuff going on that don't mean that our God is not still alive okay so be prayerful continue to be prayerful spend that time spend this time that we have with him and getting to know God more with yourself, your family, all of that jazz. So just make sure y'all are taking the right precautions out here, okay?
But I wanted to do this, I guess, kind of as an Easter hairstyle, even though we kind of not really going nowhere. But, uh, you know, we can still praise the Lord in the house. <laughs> Y'all, I'm going to do a little cute braid out one day. Because this is actually low-key cute, ain't it? So, I'm going to use some more water. I'm going to try not to focus on the ends. Because I really want it to stay as detangled as possible. But, I need to um, get the, the top of my hair, you know? So, let's just spray it. I'm going to use my wide tooth comb to try to shape um, my hair into a ponytail. So I'm going to use some of this gel. If I can open it. But I'm going to use this around my you know, the perimeter of my hair. Focus too much on brushing this good right now because um, I can fix it later. So I do want the ponytail to be kind of high up, like here. And I'm gonna use some more. I'm using more of this leave-in conditioner too, just so that it. Um, Kind of can flatten out, you know what I mean? I think I might have to do this ponytail over. Yeah, we're gonna do this over. Okay, round two. <laughs> we're gonna try this again. Taking another scrunchie here. I'm gonna take the braid in here and I don't know if I just wanna use the one bag. That seems too small. So I'm gonna use two. Okay, this is just one braid or one pack. But I'm gonna use at least two because I don't want the braid to look like too thin, you know? I'm gonna kind of do it as I'm doing like a feed in braid. So I think I'm gonna split these into four different sections. Yeah, four should be good. I'm gonna split them into four. So I'm gonna split each like pack of hair into four. I mean into two. So then I'm gonna have four pieces that goes in. So split this one. Yeah, I'm gonna start off with braiding my hair. So I'm gonna just section it into three pieces like a normal braid. Get off 
with my hands. We are muster. freaking struggle y'all i'm sorry i couldn't even talk through i'm gonna just stop it right here and use a rubber band all right and right here i'm gonna need to spread i'm gonna use a little bit of foam All right, so this is the ends. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna put some more gel on my hair. Let's go ahead and fix these edges. Maybe use a few bobby pins. I've been using this little silly scrunchie everywhere. So I'm gonna use this. Tie this scarf on because I ain't finna do too much to my edges. I'm just gonna tie this little scarf on on my head, like so. Yeah, 
yeah let me clean this mess up i'ma just come back to y'all when my hair is dry and it looks decent and better okay so y'all the hair is it's dry it's you know molding or whatever i decided to dip it in some water the ends and some boiling water just so that it wouldn't be you know sticking out all crazy or whatever and i got these little barrette thingies so i'm gonna add these little barrettes to the ends y'all right, so that brings us to the end of this video i know y'all just saw me struggle i mean your girl was legit struggling because whew, i was struggling because my hair is thick and then trying to get the bird you know what i'm saying that was just too much to be playing with so excuse me i'm doing something so, um, yeah, bare-faced and all, here I am with my cute little hairstyle. I think this still turned out super cute. It's really still really pretty. So I'ma just turn around so y'all can see it. Hope you guys enjoyed kind of watching me struggle and all that jazz. Whew, I'm tired now. It sucks because I ain't even got nowhere to go. I don't even have nowhere to go. Hmm. But y'all, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications so that you never miss an upload from me. And with all that being said, oh, also follow me on Instagram at marissa.w. My name will be on the screen here. Also down below in the description box. And again, I will leave all the products I use on my hair today down below in the description box. Please be sure to check out my other videos because I do have some good other little videos for y'all. You know, you know how to go. So thanks for watching y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed and catch me in my next video. Bye.